A report out this morning says anti-government and white racist militias are regrouping around the country. The Southern Poverty Law Center says it is in part a reaction to the election of America's first black president. CBS News correspondent Bob Orr reports. In April, three Pittsburgh police officers were shot and killed by an avowed white supremacist. Almost two months later, an anti-abortion rights protester gunned down a doctor in Wichita. And just two weeks after that, a lifelong neo-Nazi shot and killed a security guard at the U.S. Holocaust Memorial Museum. While the three events are not directly connected, a new report from the Southern Poverty Law Center argues they are evidence that the threat from militias and extremists is on the rise. The report says 50 new militia training groups have popped up in just the last two years. Gun and ammunition sales are skyrocketing. And right-wing extremists, historically motivated by a distrust of government, are now especially angry about the election of America's first black president. The report concludes the threat is not as grave as it was in the 90s, which brought the fiery standoff at Waco and the bombing of the Oklahoma City Federal Building. But as one law enforcement source puts it, a dangerous mix is brewing, and all that's missing is a spark. Bob or CBS News, Washington.